Hello, this is Colin with Maker Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to upload firmware to your printer board if you have the CDC bootloader. Um, after you've downloaded the printer board download at makerfarm.com, um, there's a printer board install guide. If you want to open that up on page six and seven, we have two pictures of some printer boards. Um, if your printer board says printer bot on the back, that is the DFU bootloader, and we're not doing that today. This is the one that we're going to do today where it has a blank back. Um, so first thing you want to do after that, um, open up that zip file. You're going to see a CDC bootloader drivers. Go ahead, install that. Um, once that's finished, you can go ahead and plug in your printer board to your computer. You can see mine came up here and it detected it on COM port 19. Um, you'll notice on the center of your printer board, there's going to be two pins that says boot and they're going to be at an angle. If you connect those or touch them with something metal carefully and then push the reset button on your printer board, it's going to detect it on a completely different COM port. Um, that COM port now is the one that we can use to actually upload the firmware to our printer board. Um, to do that, we're going to now open up our Arduino folder and go ahead and run Arduino. You should extract them before you do this, so let me get back to mine that's already extracted. Okay. Uh, it's going to go ahead and open up your Arduino. Usually it's going to ask if you want to update your Arduino software. Always select No. Um, after we do that, we're going to go up to Tools. We're going to select our uh, serial port, which for mine, since I have that bootloader pin installed and pressed reset, it's COM port 22. You're also going to go to Tools and select your board. You're going to need to make sure you select Bootloader, CDC, Teensy Lou Printer Board. And once that's selected, you can go to File and Open. And in your um, download, there's going to be a Linkomatic Marlin Maker Farm folder. There's going to be a couple different ones in there. We've got a couple others that we're working on. Um, most people, they're going to be using the Prusa. So you can just go ahead open up there and you're going to see I've got marlin underscore prusa dot pde yours may not show the extensions if it just says marlin underscore prusa that is okay click OK and it's going to go ahead and open that up for us um, the main page that we're going to be on is the configuration dot h page and you can see we can scroll down here this is where we select our thermistors um, all of our hot ends come with thermistor number six our heat beds, typically these days, if it says um, that it is the 104 GT, if it has a label on it, you're going to want to change that to a 5 for your heat bed. Um, if you go down farther here, we've got some max temps for our hot end. If your motors are moving the wrong direction, um, if your X motor moves the wrong direction when you click home, you can change this. Same thing with your Y and your extruder. Um, we have speeds here. When we're homing, you're going to want to make sure that your Z speed is around 50. Um, and then we have, this is our calibration. If you bought a full kit, um, this is going to be exactly what you need and it's going to be completely calibrated. But basically we have the steps for our motor. All of our motors right here. Um, we're going to have our bolt diameter. You're going to have your herringbone gears. Uh, currently we're using um, either the T2.5 belts or the GT2 belts. So these is this is set for the T, T2.5 belts right now. You count the gears on your teeth and then since I'm using SAE rods, I set this to 1.41. If you were using metric rods, you would set that to 1.25. Um, after all that's set, all you have to do is go to this upload button here. It's going to take a minute. You're going to see down at the bottom that it says uploading to IO board. Um, once it finishes, you're going to see some things in red. You need to make sure that it says what it says on my screen here, which is right there. Programmer supports the following devices. Device code 0x44. Once it has done that, um, you have finished uploading the firmware to your printer board. All you have to do now is remove the boot jumper, or if you were just touching it with some little metal pins for a second, now you can just press the reset button. It's going to go back to COM port 19. And then at that point, you could go ahead and open up your prompter face, select COM port 19, select your speed, and then hit connect.